There we go. That's going to be quick. Come on. On, 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 on. Full power. Gear up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, 320 Simpilot. Today we are taking the June expansion for Microsoft Flight Simulator for a bit of a test run. We're going to be flying this fantastic ornithopter that they've included along with trying out the tutorials and the free missions and challenges that they have for it. I really like seeing these uh, different IPs come into the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator and this is a surprisingly good addition. I really wasn't sure what to expect but they've done a fantastic job on this uh, machine. It's it's really enjoyable to fly around and then the missions are a great use of the uh, of the simulator's sort of visuals to, to experience that world of June. Very cinematic, very beautiful. So we'll see that in today's video so stick around uh, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy those uh, and yeah you'll get to see plenty of me embarrassing myself trying to fly this new machine <laughs> around. It is very very quick, very agile, with some interesting little uh, uh, mechanics built into it that you just don't see in other aircraft. It's it's unique as you would expect it to be, really. Right, let's get in on with the video. Just before we do get too far into the video and doing the actual missions, just take a look at this model that they've made for this ornithopter. Really, really interesting. The tricky part is these animations on the wings and you can see the way they sort of twitch it, it's really very convincing it's an amazing effect and it works very well and I'm just going to let you hear the sounds because they are equally brilliant impressively to me it doesn't just sound like a helicopter it does have a certain sort of flapping sound to it so yeah really good and it, it produces loads of dust wherever it's uh, landing which is great fun and you'll see in the the dune missions itself they've put a lot of work into getting the the feel and the, the sense of dust and sand uh, just right very impressed so here we are on the menu we can just click over here you have to install it in your content manager but you get the dune activities pretty cool pretty good dune music as well i like that a lot in the background uh, and let's go into the tutorial, see what it's all about. Take off how to fly. Welcome to Arrakis. If you want to fly around the canyons and dunes, you have to learn the basics. What are we going to do? We're going to know how to manage the wings, how to start the engines and the power and afterburner systems. Start engine, wings fold open, artificial horizon. Perfect. Let's go. Exciting. I wonder where it loads. I wonder, have they put it in somewhere on Earth? House Atreides Ornithopter. This is Welcome brilliant. What fun. Okay, so it wants me to unfold the wings, which is highlighted there. Okay. Look to the sides. You can see the wings unfolding. Ah, oh, very cool. Now, start the ah. engine to get the wings flapping and take to the skies. Let's see how it goes. It does have a profile, a default control profile. Look at that. For the uh... oh, what's it doing? I'm not doing anything. That doesn't feel very good. Excellent. All systems are ready to go. Did... <laughs> I just just went. Oh. Oh. Well, it's not easy. It feels a bit like a helicopter. So I'm using my side stick and then I've got rudder pedals. Rudder pedals are working like a rudder. Before taking off, let's take some time to see how the ornithopter handles in the air. <laughs> yeah, that would have been helpful. <laughs> right, as ever, trying again. Welcome to Arrakis. Flying the ornithopter in this extreme so, environment requires it has a master specific TCA controls. profile. Today you'll learn the fundamentals of the and then all I've done is I've modified it to include head tracking Wing on and off and reset. Right. Button 13. I don't know where that is, so Look I'm going to click the, the button. So you can see the wings unfolding. And why did it just take off on me? It does look great. Look at the animation. <laughs> it's a very cool idea. I do like these sci-fi vehicles. Excellent. That's All better. I don't understand the yaw. Ah, it's my. I know what it is. Yeah, it's my uh, TCA 
Thrustmaster has a 40 your axes, so there we go. Back on the rudder pedals. Right, extend of you. taking off, let's take some time to see how the Ornithopter handles in the air. Increasing power generates lift, allowing the Ornithopter to rise off the ground. Pitching the nose down moves the Ornithopter forward, and pitching the nose up moves it backwards. So far, the afterburner so is a great way to gain an extra speed boost when needed. Use it carefully, though. You only have a limited supply. On Good. Arrakis, you never know what to expect. You might want to save your afterburner for when you really need it. You're ready to lift off. Increase power to the max and get off the ground. Ah, uh, what? Oh, look, it twists the handle. That's cool. There we go. Now it's flying like I expected. Okay. Let's increase power. Full power. So gear up. Use the afterburner. Button three. Where's button three? So I'll show you the profile. Here we have button three is the red button. There we go. Um, yeah, so I've just modified my it came with this ornithopter profile and all I did was just add in the 14-15 button for the uh, camera. Let's go. Let's try it out. Oh, wow. Oh, you have to hold it down. When you've learned, That's cool. You need to pull off a fast takeoff on Arrakis. You've done well. You're a promising recruit. Hmm? You just need more practice. This is cool. Very good. B. <laughs> Cross ravine as quickly as possible. Well, I didn't know we had to do it quickly. I'd have done it faster. Let's do the next mission. The next tutorial. Wow. Look at that. The most crucial maneuver, the dive. Great for speed boost and adrenaline. Be able to toggle the dive mode. Having mastered the handling of diving all the to Let's go. So it's down there on the right. It must be assigned onto my joystick already, I'm sure. They seem to have thought very well about this. It's really cool seeing these IPs arrive in Flight Simulator. I know we've only had two, but I can't complain because to provide this content for free is really very nice of them. Look at that. Let's have a go. You can handle oh. the basics, but to be among the fastest pilots on Arrakis, you need to master the dive. Diving trades altitude for speeds that would be impossible to reach in standard flight. When you reach the dive point, fold the wings to dive. As you approach the ground, okay. on my mark, unfold the wings, then get back to level flight. Right, well, let's let's look up the uh, the diving control. What, what have they signed that to? They've thought about this, though. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Miscellaneous, it must be 13. So it is assigned to... Other than 13. Right, okay. Reach the edge of the cliff up ahead. Give it a go. It's a bit of an awkward button to reach 13. Let's see if I can get to it in time. <laughs> Fantastic graphics. As ever in Microsoft Flight Simulator, really. Activate dive mode. Now dive down. No, it's button five. We need a mode. Ah, oh, the unfolding the wings doesn't work. <laughs> five. Five is on the left. Okay. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wish I'd known that earlier. That's nine. <laughs> uh, right, that is in the back middle. They're not very. I've got to say that. <laughs> not... Are we ready? Oh! <laughs> They're not very um, intuitive patterns, shall we say. Let's try that one again. Right, we got it this time. To be among the fastest pilots on Arrakis, I, I know the buttons I need. To the dive. I'm gonna, I'm ready on both. Diving trades altitude for speeds that would How aerobatic is it? Oh yeah. Very. When you reach the it rolls on its axes. So with no effort. As you approach the ground, In fact, you can put it on its side and knife edge, and it doesn't really lose much altitude. Flight. Very. Reach the edge of the cliff very ahead. easy to fly. Oh, it sounds great too. That's so cool. <laughs> right. Can you... So we know we can roll it. No trouble. We'll try a loop after this dive. Activate dive mode. 
and now it's a different button to recover. I, I, I feel like it should really be the same button. There we go. Pull back on the handles. I'm doing that because you do them both together in the June way. Not bad at all. Okay. Oh. Now keep flying low. Oh, it might be another one that needs to be quick. Maintain a low altitude. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. It didn't tell me that. <laughs> Stay under a thousand feet. There we go. It does say that. <laughs> that maneuver is critical to become the fastest pilot in the desert. Let's see if we can bring it to a stop. First dive is the scariest, but you performed it well. There's the gear. Another B. Not doing well here. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't even stay below a thousand at all. Right, landing, obviously. So, if you want to have a challenge, go to assistance option piloting and deactivate auto power while braking assistance. Well, I'll worry about that later. Uh, with your instruction and radio contact, land on the end landing spot, use the landing gear and the wing brake, land the aircraft in a smooth manner. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? <laughs> uh, joystick slider X for power. No, I don't see that. I've got my throttles. It's quite a simple set of controls, I suppose. It doesn't look like there's going to be an autopilot. Maybe there is. We'll try it out, I suppose. But yeah, it's relatively straightforward. Right, retain level. Now let's practice landing one. How do I do that? I begin by maintaining an altitude of 1,300 feet. Where are you supposed to read that? To land, use your wing brake to quickly reduce your speed I can't. and stabilize your aircraft. I can't see that anywhere. Faster speeds require longer braking distances. Anticipation is essential to avoid overshooting the landing pad. Okay, 1,300. I'm only judging that off that green box in the top now left. deploy the landing gear. Gear down. On my mark, use your wing brake to reduce speed as you approach the landing pad. If your speed is too high, pitch the nose up to come to a complete stop. Where's the wing brake? Finally, to ensure a smooth landing, return to a level attitude and apply the wing brake just before touching down. Where's the wing brake? Another thing I don't know. Miscellaneous? My speed brake control didn't work for it. Set wing brake button six. Oh goodness me, another one to remember. Ah, I see. So you hold it, and it sort of breaks. Okay, that's pretty good. Now use the wing brake. That's what helps you speed with the wing brake to keep the landing pad centered. Helps you transfer to from forwards to to hovering. It's pretty good. It means you can leave the power alone. It does make it a bit easier. Ah, it's a clever idea actually. It saves you the hardest part of a helicopter, which is transferring that forward momentum into a hover. Although I'm still making it look very hard. <laughs> Come on, up a bit, please. And not backwards. Land on the ground. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it wanted a flare. I think it would need to be very level. <laughs> I hope so. The instructor's trying to encourage me. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> we're getting worse. Right, well, that's enough tutorial. Surely we can now go and take on the challenge. Well, I mean, we're doing the hole in the rock, aren't we? And there's a rescue mission. Storm escape. This is cool stuff. Very cool. Fly inside some of the narrowest canyons of Iraq. Slow maneuver speed and after better power sprint to complete as quickly as possible. And there's already the times. Look at that. Don't recognize any names there right now. Okay, display ghost, here we go. So this is similar then to the Top Gun uh, time trials. Not going to complain at that. There's only a limit to what you can do with aeroplanes, I'm sure. <laughs> They're giving us a beautiful machine there. Absolutely love it. Right. Full power. Along the false wall east lies a sinuous canyon which offers very little space to maneuver. Be careful with your afterburner there. Okay, do I need to land? Uh, are we going to land? I put the gear down. Brake. Oh, it's hard actually to do the brake and the power. Yes, it looks like we have to land in our mosquito. 
Bit of power. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Forwards, please. It does not like the flare. Right, let's go. I think we can go for the next one. Yeah, one out of three. It's afterburner this. Get going, get going. Oh, wow, the afterburner makes a big difference. I don't know where. Oh, there's, uh, there's a fuel on the left there. I've used quite a lot. <laughs> it's a massive wingspan. Do we have to stay low? Are there points of staying low? Ghost certainly is. Wow, love the sounds. Love the music too. I'm a big soundtrack fan of films. Got to say, it's easier to fly than the F-18. But challenging to land. Ah, here we go. We're going to dive. I've already forgotten all the buttons for diving. I think it was this one and this one. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go, go, go. We've lost so much time there. Got wing brakes here. Oh, and there's one of those things from the film. The, the dust gatherers. Slow, 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 slow. Power back, gear down. No! <laughs> that has not worked. Yeah, because I'm using my left hand on the throttles and then I have to change it over to the joystick to uh, do the old... Uh, wing break. Oh, that counts a crash! <laughs> oh, no. I was trying to cheat there. Checkpoint. I guess we're going for the checkpoint, not the final. There we go. Right. This has been all round embarrassing. I'm sure I'm losing points of being this high. Yeah, out of area. Too high. Let's go, go, go. We've got plenty of afterburners to use up. Love the diving. <laughs> That's just awesome. Whoa. Right, let's try and get one of these right. So I'll put the gear down. I'm going to power back halfway and see if that helps. Then... We've got to sort out these landings. It's the only way we're going to manage this. Just sort of diving straight for it. There we go. Using the wing break isn't as easy as it looks. You'll need a bit more practice to get it just right. Well, we've done it. See. <laughs> hmm. Well, we're not going to be in the world top ten. What does that mean? Eighty-two? We're not eighty-two out of everyone. I don't believe that. Very good. Oh, it was a lot of fun to be had here. More challenges than I imagined. Canyon Rush. Race to a wrecking. Desert Run. So what is... Let's try this mountain dive. That, that was fun. Oh, beautiful. Top of the shield wall. Massive plateau. Dive maneuver. Essential skill. Along the steep terrain of the wall. Let's give it a go. Right. Now, I promise these are all my first attempts. love the graphics, the lighting, the music. What a treat. I've lost my HUD though, which is useful to see I've used up all my afterburner. I need to land, so half power, gear down, wing brakes. We're learning our lesson and then just point at it, point at it, wing brakes, wing brakes, wing brakes. Done. And then full power, let's go, gear up, after better. Okay, that felt good, that felt better. And then dive. Okay, I'm ready with the pull up and wings. Awesome. Gear down, half power. No, 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 no! Oh, we did so well! We can do it. We can save this. We can save this. 
Nope, not that. That's not going to work. <laughs> Come on. I don't know who that ghost is based off, but they're doing a bit better than us. There we go. Right, gear up. Afterburner. They're going to fold, so we're going to fold. Does afterburnering with the wings folded do anything? I don't think so. Awesome. Awesome. Should we do a bit of a dive again? I think so. Can you steer at all? Not really. A little bit. Half power. Gear down. Brake, brake, brake. The half power thing is my uh, is my trick here. Done. That was not bad. <laughs> he keeps saying that. Still grade C. So where are we losing our points? 56 on that one. Not terrible. 130! 30 seconds to be saved there. Impressive. Let's have another go at this hole in the wall. So I reckon we've got a technique for landing now. I think we'll be better at uh, getting this thing touched down. Okay, I'm serious this time. Full power. And Gear is up. After that. Rock, a distinctive rock formation revered by the Fremen. Okay, off the afterburner. Gear down. I don't think there's a gear limit speed. Half power. Break. 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 Here we go. Full power, afterburner, gear up. Keep it low. Because I don't think we even used all the afterburner on our first run. It's so, it rolls so well. That's, that's, it's the, the treat of it is the, the rolling. Head tracking is working nicely with this as well. Come on, bit faster, bit faster. Not great visibility out the front, not gonna lie. <laughs> you can hear Timothy Chalamet struggling. Not sure if he flies one of these actually. So, ready to dive. Ready to dive and fold. Diving, wings folded, open. Three kilometers away. It's fast, this thing is fast. I mean, this is, we are really doing fighter jet speeds here. Gear down, half power. I love that, that's just awesome. Wing brakes. Uh, full power, gear up. Come on, this is getting, this is a good run, this is a good run. But we're gonna stay in the canyon this time. I feel like I definitely lost points <laughs> for cheating over the top. Let's not hit a wall now. I know it's a left turn. And do one more fold and dive. And afterburner. And unfold and afterburner. Four kilometers to go. This this feels good. I mean we've got to be ahead of our ghost. Get down. Half power, half the better off. Wing brakes, wing brakes. Oh, bit of a crash, but there we go. But you'll need a bit more practice to become an ornithopter pilot. It's very upset with my landings. I feel like that's what's costing us a lot of points. <laughs> I think the time was good. Not good enough though. Where are we now? Twelve. We're close to the top ten. So close. Ah, oh. Now this sounds fun. During a recon flight with your instructor, Owen, an engine malfunction forces him to perform an emergency landing in the desert. Fly to his rescue as fast as possible before he gets caught by an approaching Coriolis storm. The Coriolis effect is responsible for lots of things in the atmosphere, and if I knew more about meteorology, I'd be able to describe them, but uh, I assume that's what it's referring to. Okay, 
is exciting. So we're going to go and save someone. Right, here we go. Mission starts. Oh, look at it. I have a problem. I've lost the engines. I'm going to make an emergency landing. The storm is getting close. I need right. immediate extraction. I, uh, of your position. I don't know how to see which way I'm pointing. Anyway, the gear's up. A bit of afterburner. Oh, I see. The compass is up there. That'd be helpful. Northwest. Okay. That's an area. There we go. <laughs> There's the storm. Look at that. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Now I know how to see where I'm going. Outside view. Then you get the compass in the top left. Let's get the afterburner going. This is a time critical one. I think we can. I want to use up to half the afterburner to get there and save him. Save old Owen. That storm effect is amazing. It's like a full game. It's really impressive. The shadows, the graphics, the music. How you're supposed to see things like altitude and heading inside. I can see the attitude. That's about it. And that's not even very clear. Right, there's a the crash. So, get down. Half power. As close to the wreck as possible. Every second counts. Yep, do that. Use the brakes. That's pretty close. How did I receive the ornithop to pilot? What happens now? He's coming, he's coming. Storm's coming as well. <laughs> Come on! Oh! <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, we're gonna follow the canyon. Ooh, I don't think we're gonna make it. We're gonna. Oof, brutal. I think we're gonna have to fly in the storm. Yikes. We didn't make it. You've got to beat the storm. Wow. Okay. Right. We're doing this mission again. I'm not going to tell you how many times I've done it, but I have a plan. <laughs> we've learned that flying low gives you more speed. And we're going to land on the other side of the crash site. And we're going to get ourselves moving pretty promptly. So stay nice and low. Keep the speed up. It's just over on the right here. Definite advantage once you know where it crashes. Love the still love all the design, the sand blowing, absolutely brilliant. Gear down, half power. Just land right next to the pilot. There we go. Power off. Come on, buddy, you can do it. As soon as they disappear, they're in. Go, gear up, after burner. Follow the canyon four kilometers. Okay. Oh no, we've got to go. Okay. I, I thought we had to land in this little gap, but that's not right. I think we go into the canyon and then we go right. He's going to have a lot of my afterburner though. So I'm in, into here. Now where? It's got to be right, isn't it? Yes. I'm trying, I'm trying. Botanical station. I suppose we just just use all the afterburner. There's no point, no point wasting time. Yeah, you you get another twenty sort of knots by going close to the ground. Problem is, how tight is this going to get? Yikes! Yikes! Wow! This isn't really not what I expected to be doing in Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> Very cool. I love that they've branched out a bit. And again, for free, can't complain. Oof. It's a good job. It pulls up really quickly. It rolls quickly and pulls up quickly, which you can use to get round these bends. Botanical station. There it is. Ah, uh, we haven't done this quick enough, surely. Gear down. Half power. Oh, God, that's hard. 
Let's see if we can get ourselves in the top 10 on one of these missions. So we'll try the canyon dive again. I feel like we've got a bit of a trick for the landings now. Um, and I've got to do some sort of consolation for, <laughs> for not managing the rescue mission. 12th is okay in that other mission, but we'll see if we can do better in this one. Right, here we go. Drop down Full afterburner. And reach the great flat. A vast Keep nice and low. Most of Get that speed boost. Just got to judge those landings. Half power. Get out. Slow, 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 slow. Go for power. Gear it up. Getting ready for the dive. Just full afterburner this dive as well, I think. Why not? Gear down, half power, brake, 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 brake. This is a tricky one. You've got a lot of energy coming into this one. Touchdown, gear up, full power, dive. Gets the energy into it. Nice and low, 4%. So we'll get one more dive out of this. I hope. I didn't misjudge that one. Oh, just made that. Gear down. Half power. Break, 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 break. Oh, that's got to have been good, surely. Ah, oh, what else could we do? Still grade B. Not sure what the criteria are. Thirds! Yes, we've done it! <laughs> well done us. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Took a few practices, but we made it. We saved 25 seconds off our original time. How Vento Tempo did five seconds quicker, I don't know. Very good. Excellent. Well done us. <laughs> I think we'll stop there for now at least. I reckon we can do better at this other mission as well. So here we go. Full power. Afterburner. I think we can do this. I think we can get in the top 10 for this one. So gear down. Our power. You just sort of need to do a touch and go. Because that's what I'm going to work on. Go, gear up. That's one. Full after and just get the energy in it. That's what, that's what it's best for. We've got loads of afterburn left. Let's use it. It's not a particularly long mission. Love the sound effects. Just awesome. 37% still. Loads of afterburn. And it's so responsive on pitch. The G force you must be putting there. <laughs> okay, now we're going for a bit of a dive. With the afterburner. There we go. Ridiculous speed. Four kilometers, doing 515 knots, not bad. Get down, half power. Oh, it's a bit early. Chicken out on the brakes there. Touch down, go, gear up. through the canyon again. I'm going to run out of afterburner and save the last little bit for that. I don't think we have any more touchdowns to do. But let's just keep calm now. Maneuver sensibly. We're going to have one more dive, I suspect. Can't quite remember. Yes. Oh, aiming right at that rock. Not ideal. And let's finish off the afterburner. Get down. Half power. Get 
done. That was a good flight, but you'll need to keep practicing your landings oh, to become a great So pilot. harsh on the landings. <laughs> Is it because I'm cheating by using the brake? How do we do on time? That's all we're worried about. Second! Vento Tempo's beating us on this one as well. Oh! <laughs> Five, six seconds quicker there. Very impressive. But we are six seconds quicker than number three, so I'll take that. Of course, all correct at time of filming. <laughs> So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been great fun for me. Like I say, really enjoy seeing these IPs come into Microsoft Flight Simulator and a great bit of fun to just try out some different challenges and some different styles of flying. Please do subscribe if you'd like to see more content. And of course, we've got live streams and tutorials all coming to the channel as well. We'll see you again in another video or live stream. Please keep safe and well. Bye-bye.